Hey everyone, I'm Nabzi and I'm back with another Genshin Impact video. Today we'll be taking a look at Hutao's talents and how much her damage will increase by putting one level into each talent. We'll analyze that data by comparing all three talent level ups side by side, and finally, I'll give you my recommendations on which talents you should prioritize. Let's dive right in. Hope you guys enjoyed that footage. Let's take a look at the data now. We can see that leveling the auto attack increased our damage by about 7.4%. Looking at our E, we received about a 2.8% increase, and our alt, a 5.9% increase. We should consider the fact that leveling our E will increase both our autos and our ultimate by that approximate 2.8%. This damage increase will only go up with more HP, so my recommendation for you is to hold off and level that E talent last if your Hutao's health is below 35k HP. If it's above, you might want to consider whether or not that increase will still be worth it to you over the other talents. Now, whether you level your auto attacks or ultimate first is up to your playstyle. If you play Hutao like me, which is mainly with auto attacks, I'd focus auto attacks first for sure. If you want to use her for new comps, definitely take the ultimate up first. I'd recommend taking every skill to level 8 before continuing to level talents any further simply due to the availability of boss materials at this time. Thanks everyone for watching, if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe to get notifications for any new videos. 
If you're interested in watching me live, a link to my Twitch will be in the description. Thanks guys, have a great day. Take a